Okay, let's look at problem number two. I'll read it. What impulse does the force shown in the figure below exert on a 250 gram particle? And it gives a graph of force versus time. And notice that the force is in newtons, so that's SI units, but the time is in milliseconds. So we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to convert that into, into seconds to get the right units over here. So impulse is the change in momentum. And sometimes it's I, but this is less, uh, impulse is less talked about, so the symbol for impulse is not as always, it's not always I, but usually it's I. And it's a change of momentum, so it's a final momentum minus the initial momentum. And unit momentum to be mass times velocity. But sometimes we can write impulse or impulse in the moment is going to be the derivative of momentum and so that ends up being related to force and time in this way so if I take the derivative of momentum I'm going to take the derivative of mass times velocity if I have a constant mass then I can pull that out of the derivative ddt the derivative of velocity is acceleration and this mass times acceleration is force. And then if we come back, dp, and I move the dt over, then I have a relationship between momentum, force, and time. And integrating over both of these, this is going to turn out to be final minus initial momentum. And this is the area under the curve of the force time graph. And if the force were constant, then this would just be force times the change in time. So this is if f is constant. In this case, it's not constant, but what we can do is we can just geometrically look at the area under the graph. And to do that, we say, okay, well, I have two parts of a triangle, which has an area of 0 to 4, remember this is milliseconds, and then times 100 divided by half. So we're going to do that. I'll call this area 1 and area 2. So the area 1 is going to be 4 milliseconds. So if I want to convert that immediately to seconds, it's going to be 1 over 1,000. Let's not do that. Let's do 4 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds times the 1,000 times a half because of the triangle. And the 10 to, 10, uh, 10 to the negative 3 and the 1,000 cancel out. And so you get 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that's going to be seconds. The 1,000 is going to be in newtons. And so together they're newton seconds. The area for the second part is going to be 4 to 6. As, as a distance, ah, sorry, that's a time of 2 milliseconds. So 2 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds, similar, and high up, 1,000 newtons. But this one we don't want to divide by 2 because it's a rectangle. So forget that part. So the second area is also going to be 2 newton seconds. The two areas are each 2 newton seconds. We add them together, and we're going to get 4 newton seconds, which is what we have for our answer. Done.